people. How's it going? Hi. Was that, was that not good enough, Millie? Do you want me to try again? Yeah, try again. All right. What's up, humans, <laughs> people that love this show? Yep. <laughs> what is up? How are you? What's up? This is Millie. Are you like an <laughs> AM radio DJ? Like, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't think this is a part of the show up until now. <laughs> Millie, we are like 23 episodes in. You can't you can't start a new persona all of a sudden. I know. What's up, guys? You're How's like, it going? Hey, hey, hey. Now we're going to play you some smooth hits from the 80s. Hey, hey, hey. Now we're going to... Yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> no. I don't think Millie's ever really listened to the radio. You don't, I mean, I do. Where do you listen to the radio? Because, like, when in I was your car. age, I had a radio in my in my room and I, I listened in to a it. car. You want to hear something really sad, Millie? What? When I was your age, if I loved a song, the only way that I could listen to it whenever I wanted to was to put a cassette, which doesn't even exist, it's like a pre CD, in my boombox, in my radio, and then wait for the song to come on the radio and then run over there and press record and record it on the cassette. And then I would have it on the cassette and could listen to it whenever. But the first, like, five seconds would when be missing. When you were a kid, you did not have a, a, a really just... It wasn't light. just me. Like, I wasn't the only kid that had to do that. All, all children of my age group had to do something That's similar. That's really sad. Until iTunes came out and changed the world. So, Millie, we've got a lot of things that can happen today. The world is our oyster. So, the real question is... Ooh. I want to do something. Oh, okay. Well, great. What would you like to do? Feed Karen? I hope so. Um, I was going to think we could have a party. Oh. I mean, like, Mr. Cool Shades, really. Invite him on a date. That's what I meant. You know what? You know what we should do? What? You're a teen. I'm a teen. I have a boyfriend. You want a boyfriend. Let's double date. Oh, you know what's even better? Get uh -oh. the parents out on vacation, take over, and make sure we have a party without them secretly. So we're back to party. We're, we've we've gone from party to date to double date to back to party, right? <laughs> just to be, I just want to be clear because you know what? No matter I what, mean like a double date party at home. Double date party at you home. <laughs> Great, Mr. Dad earned forty three dollars. Perfect. Okay, well, yeah. Let's see if we. I don't know if that's possible, but I am totally into it. So let's see. Karen is like, Mr. Dad, it's time for our honeymoon. Let's leave. We're go gonna on go on vacation. But do you think that if we do that, it's just gonna send um, Karen and Mr. Dad on vacation? Like yeah. we're like we're controlling them on vacation. Go on vacation with. I, I still think this is no. gonna be. I'm telling you. See, it wants us it all to go. Mr. Dad. Okay. Mr. Dad. And I'm gonna to be go. right. I bet you that when we go to the vacation, we will not be able to leave and interact with the girls. And if I'm right, I get to shave Millie Mad Girl's head for two Sim days. No! But if you're right, you get to do something to one of my Sims or whatever you whatever you want in the game to happen will happen. So what do you want? Like, what do you want to bet me? If I'm right, uh huh, then I'm going to get you to go in ugly clothes and shave your hair. Oh, yeah? For All right. a day. You're on. For Let's shake on it. All right. <laughs> here we go. Who's getting their head shaved? I'm scared. I'm scared for you because I'm pretty sure I'm right. Ah, your girl's gonna be so bald. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so bald. And she has to go on her date with Cool Shades Bald. All right, so. We have to click on the people. On, you mean on us? Yes. Nothing's happening. All right, I think we should work on Mr. Cool Shades. We have a double date. How about that? Okay, we will have a double date in which you will be bald. All right, Millie. Look, Imogen's like, are you ready? And Millie's like, no, but I'll do it. Time to shave my head. What we will do is we will make the parents go to sleep, and then we will have our double date party, and then we'll just stay asleep. It'll be fine. All right. There it is. Oh, no! <laughs> Yes! Don't you take that no. mouse from me! No. Give me the mouse! No. Millie! It's a you have to honor a gentleman's no. agreement! I saw a better ball. Millie! I saw a better ball! You gave me so much sass about whether or not they were gonna be able to go on vacation. And now you know what happens. <laughs> look at her, look at her! No. She's like, well <laughs> It's time to plan a so invite to hang out at current lot. 
Shave your head. Alexander and Cool Shades. Shave your head. I'm not going to shave my head. I won the bet. Change outfit every day. <laughs> awesome. Wait, no! That's not fair. <laughs> what kind of voodoo is this? Everybody's coming over. It's time for a double date. And the parents are I'm gonna go Mr. Cool to bed. Shades is gonna make fun of me. Well, if he does, if he does, then he's not good enough for you. That's the truth. Oh, look, he's here. He's coming to hang out. All right, where's Alexander? There he is. He's what? like, I'm just waiting. What nice pants. So, tell engaging. No, show off your outfit because it's like you kind of want to draw attention like away from from this whole area. And more down you're on this whole make, area. You're not making it better, Chelsea. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Look, he likes it. Romance. Wait, but wait. Hold what? On again. what? Go to, go to become best friends forever. Where do you see that? Oh, nice. Okay, let's see how it goes. Wait, you got a heart thing. What are we doing? We're chatting. We're being. Oh, he was flirting with us. We didn't even have to do it, Millie. Yes, this is going well. Okay. Millie Magrel, awesome, and Mr. Cool Shades Harfouche are becoming best friends forever. Awesome. Wow, I like that. Like, I wish that happened in real life. Like, just like beautiful emoji faces came around you when you were becoming best friends. Then, so we are acquaintances, neighbors, lovebirds, just good friends, and best friends. That's confusing. Now we're having a pleasant conversation. Now we're gonna joke about old times, because old times are great. What are you doing, Alexander? Where are you going? We're supposed to be hanging out. Look, like he's thinking about you. He's talking about me. Oh, he's talking about you. Wait, that worked. Now you would really like to ask someone to go steady. So that's cool. Ready? How's our how's Ready? our relationship Ready? status? Ready? Love birds. Right. Look, she's just like, ah, ah, and he's like, yeah, that was awesome. Millie, this is going so great. Where am I? Oh, I'm just like, all right, this was fun. Maybe my boyfriend's kind of boring. You guys are just staring at each other. I don't know how I feel about this. Also, he's wearing sunglasses and it's like one o'clock in the morning and now he's on his phone. Oh, look, you did not like that he was on his phone. Um, first kiss. Can we reveal crush then no. first kiss? Okay, fine, first kiss. I can't promise it's gonna go great. Well, he's into, was he into that? Yeah, he was, he was into it. Millie, Mr. Cool Shades Harfouche and Millie Mackerel, Austin Rush about having the first kiss. Millie, get hype. Oh, yes. All right, that was sort of hype. All right. Let's, oh my God. once again, oh my gotta God. get the perfect angle. Oh, but I don't wanna be bald for this. Oh, you're gonna be so bald for it? I don't want my first kiss to be bald. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Oh, okay, well, let's ask him to be your boyfriend, right? Yes. Ask to be boyfriend. He's just like, yeah, that was great. It was like a gift. Oh, right, relationship selfie. Who are you waving to, dude? Who are you waving to? That makes sense. Please leave. Yay, that's your boyfriend now. Look, you're feeling very flirty. You're so happy. Oh no, he's leaving. He's like, well, now that you're my girlfriend, it's time for me to peace. When are you turning into an adult? You know, I was thinking about that, Millie. I'd kind of like to turn into an adult soon. I want to turn into an adult too. Well, we could turn into adults and get our own super cool adult house for ladies. Yes! Time to uh, crack some cases wide open. Woo! Woo! Woo. Training day two, train harder. Shouldn't it be Shouldn't it be two training, two day? Oh, it's exactly the kind of reference that Millie just doesn't get. No, let's go. I don't get it, but it just sounds. Oh nice. no, she's gotta go to the bathroom. Pee your pants and don't go. pee your pants. That's gonna really mess with your ability to go on patrol, which is we her only has thing to do. We can't discover that the suspect is wearing a jacket. Clue discovered. Great. Okay. Cool. Still need to go to the bathroom, but that's great information. I'm excited about it. Um, do I just Ooh. walk around this area like I'm patrolling? Oh, there we go. Yeah, going patrol. Crushing it. Millie, I am so hype right now. I'm just crushing this game from start to finish. What is happening? Oh, this is going to be awkward. We're at the Caliente house. <gasps> so awkward. Oh, my God. Okay, well, let's read this real quick. So, here. When the officer is on patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with residents to make a friendly or mean impression. If you see <laughs> anyone littering or fighting, issue a citation to make Crushed it. <laughs> to make sure they obey the law. No, you were right. It's citation, but I mean like you were basically on with that, so that was awesome. All right. A citation is like a ticket. Oh yeah, we gotta chat with a civilian, so let's brighten our day. Be like, I'm here to help. I'm law enforcement. That's great. I love law enforcement. 
I wear high heels. I wear t-shirts. You're cheer captain, and I'm on the bleachers. Boom! Oh, wait, this got bad. Denise is angry. Who's Denise? What's happening? Denise is the girl you're talking to. No, we're talking to Katrina. Look, Katrina and I, pleasant a conversation. Denise and I have an angry conversation. Who's Denise? Where is she? Is it this person? Yes. Oh, my God. Friendly introduction. <laughs> so, look, she looks kind of mad, though. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny, though, because she... We were talking to her. We're, she's so far away from us. I know, but we could tell. We could sense how angry she was. She looks so we mad. Should, but we're supposed to be doing a job. Right? I am. I'm walking over to her right now. I really don't want her to be really angry. Maybe she's just because she's waiting for the bus and it's not coming. Oh, I think maybe somebody was littering or something. I don't know. All right, let's see. What's going on? Try to calm down. Okay, maybe you're right, Billy. All right, well, we got to issue a citation, so we got to look for somebody doing something bad. We are? Yeah, and you got to be really on the ball with this because you know me, I can't see. <laughs> you can seeing oh. is not my strong suit. Oh yeah, I've eaten a lot of carrots. Yep. Issue citation. He did something bad. What'd he do? No one knows. Let's find out. I'm issuing you a citation, sir, for those pants. They, they with that hoodie too. That's terrible. Like, Maybe he's being mean to Katrina. It's like she's <laughs> suffered enough, dude. All right, come on, Karen. Please do your job. All right, well, great. Issue the, did you issue the citation? You have one job. Okay, well, let's just talk to him, I guess. Okay, I don't see anybody doing anything bad. Maybe the person in blonde. Oh. I was say, can I issue a citation to myself for smelling really bad? Issue citation. citation. This guy is going down, taking no chances. I don't know what he did wrong, but it was not good. Look, I'm look. She's like, you did this and this, and I'm running down right in your face. Red card. Oh, he's mad, and I'm excited. All right, return to police station. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin. While you have a rough description of the suspect, the more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the perp. You will be less likely to arrest an innocent person who shares a few cell similarities with the guilty party. Oh, that's awkward. You can arrest innocent people. All points bulletin. Look, this is so cinematic. She's like, she's like this, and then this here, and then I found this. Oh, and something's happening. Okay, great, cool, awesome, <laughs> perfect. Courthouse. Sorry. What? <laughs> Are you just saying words? <laughs> no. Banana. No. <laughs> Lamp post. No. Clown face. No, I was like... <gasps> Millie, the suspect is here! The suspect is here! Is it this guy directly in front of our face? We gotta use the notebook to review the suspect description before we make an arrest. In the bar! or at In the a bar! Okay, wait. Where's the notebook? Okay, great. I just saw someone like that over there. So apparently it's this guy. Is Look. it this guy? Yes. Uh, well, let's just ask him about the suspect. Let's play it cool. Um, where were you two nights ago? Uh, what are you up to? What is that guy doing? Is he like, he's, he's like, here, cop, I'll make a description, a dis description? Distraction. <laughs> you grab the guy. You can't say words right now. I can't say words. I'm so scared that this is the wrong guy, but I really like his hair. Isn't that her right there? Oh, it's a girl. But I heard it was hair. a dude, but we're totally guessing because I don't know how to look at the notebook. He's like, what? Uh-oh. No! Uh-huh. Check the clues in your notebook. What's the notebook? Great. Okay. Um, is it here? Wait, is it in here? Like, clue discover. Okay. It's an art lover, red hair, and wearing slacks. Wait, I know where that girl is. And a jacket. She's in here. Okay. Go to the, like, bar bar. Bar bar. Is it that girl with the red ponytail, you think? Jacket, jacket. slacks, red hair. Wait, let's, let's see if she's an art lover. Okay, um, discuss interests. What are you interested in? Edith, if that even is your real name. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. No! But we can't arrest the wrong person again. No, stop talking to everyone. Talk to this girl again. And more, more. Discuss interests. This girl, is this girl holding all of our hands? Like, now ladies. Let's not get off on the wrong foot here, accusing other teenagers of crimes that they may or may not have committed. Isn't that her right there? 
Is this the wrong person again? See, Millie, I'm really afraid this is the wrong person again. This person also is wearing slacks, a jacket, and has red hair. Um, ask us upset. Art so lover. So how do you feel about art? She's a bookworm. Great. I need to know something else about you. Discuss interests. I really need to know if this girl is an art lover. I can't talk to anybody about art. I'm going to leave it up to you, Millie. And I'll, and I'll even spice up the deal a little bit. If you successfully choose which of these two redheaded women in slacks and jackets is the true suspect, we can put hair back on Millie Mad Girl right now. But if you're wrong... She's staying bald until Let's Wednesday. Do the one who we're talking about. With, he's like, I haven't seen anyone around here. This one, yeah. just to be, just just to give you a little bit more inform information, just to you know make sure that it's fair. This is a teenager. This is a fellow detective. I know. But we also don't know what the crime is. Just okay, so this one, this is who you want to arrest. Yes. Okay. We might get fired if you're wrong, but if you're right, hair. Oh man. Uh. Oh my gosh, well, you were right. Millie, it was a fellow detective. It was another cop the whole time, a crooked cop. That's what you call a cop who commits <laughs> crimes in the dark of night when they think no one's watching because they think they're above the law. No one's above the law. Not on Karen Lou's watch. All right, now what? Oh, take a mug shot. We got to take a mug shot, Millie. This is awesome. Wait, don't what? you want to wait? What? Go to the red thing what? and stay at work. Oh, we can only leave work early. We cannot Aww. stay late. Any longer. No. Taking a mug shot of this chick. I can't believe it was another detective. This I'm is like so stressing me I'm really out. good at this. You're also really good at getting your hair back. Yeah. Well, I don't know why we didn't. Do we have to do something else with the computer, maybe? No, we don't. Take mug shot? Oh, we already did it. We have to put her in prison. I don't think that we can. I don't know. She's in prison. Three, two, one. Oh, she is in prison. Maybe that's what we had to do for it to give us. Nope. No, nope. End of shift. Made 180 bucks. Did well. Well, Millie, I think that was a good day. I did good. I'm proud of us. All right. Let's fix your hair. <laughs> Millie's like, the moment we've all been waiting for. And by all of us, I mean just me. Nope. Yep. All right, Whoa. and let's stop. Let's stop.